so we have a really excellent hand. We can keep a uh, waif from flipping on turn one if we have to. So that's nice. Um, plus Doom Traveler, plus Stitcher's Apprentice, plus Unruly Mob is a combo right here. Plus Geist and Feeling of Dread is a fast clock, as it turns out. Blood Craze Mew and 8. Yeah, that's fine. I would be happy to trade my Doom Traveler for your Blood Craze Mew and 8. And let's see. So this says to me Fuhrer of the Bitten. So if he has Fear of the Bitten, uh, I could set up Stitcher's Apprentice just to get infinite chump blocks going. But I'd rather just I'd rather just chump it once and then like tap it and then take a couple of hits off of it and then you know get a two two. Like I'm pretty sure he's gonna play the enchantment here. Cobble Dreams, that's also fine. That's also not really a problem. That's like him spending his whole third turn with a c on a cobbled wings. So, I mean, I am pretty confident in my ability to race this with uh, Geist of St. Trav. Considering that I'm going to get in for six next turn, make a Stitcher's Apprentice. Um, get in there. I mean, this is nice. We got we got all the synergy in the world right now. I mean, I'm going to take some hits off this Munate, but that's just not a problem at all. Not at all a problem. Boo boo boo! I'm the village bell ringer. Just nothing. Uh, that is also fine. Uh, still going to play a Stitcher's Apprentice here. I think it's probably better to get the Stitcher's Apprentice online than to uh, I'm just playing it pre-combat for value. Let's see, so, yeah. I'm going to tap down that Gallows Warden anyway, so. I'm definitely fine with this spot, because I think I actually just win, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. No, I get him to one. says wow. I'm going to assume he is congratulating me on my uh, magic playing skill. Um, yeah, so we just deal him nine or eight. And then we'll make a 2-2 two -two out of the angel prior to uh, that happening. And then We'll let him hit us for four, and then tap down a blocker, and then we almost certainly have him dead on board. So Geist of St. Traft is pretty good when you have ways to get blockers out of the way. I mean, it is pretty much just a 6-6 six, six for three. Uh, yes. I will respond. So he has to play a blocker, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. I mean, like, how many blockers can you play here? Oh, he is the, the bell ringer, but I still think it doesn't matter. Because he, like, blocks, 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 and then guys to the angel. Well. He said he won the last couple Swisses. Yeah, the deck seems okay. He has a Village Bell Ringer and then he dies. Uh, yes, 
that is fine. <laughs> He doesn't have gold belt rings, so we're gonna be in good shape anyway. But oh, I guess I could have just killed him because this is a spirit. So last turn, yeah, I fucked up because I should have just slammed this because he was tapped out, right? Yeah, he was tapped out, and I had tapped that, and it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I, so I had I had him dead on board. I, I didn't see it because the battleground guy makes this a three two. So I made a misplay, but there you go. So after a frightening game one, we have uh, we made it, and uh, see you guys in the next round. All right, so we are.